Hey guys, I have here my kombucha, my keto kombucha that I'm actually now changing the first fermentation to the second fermentation. Look at my Scooby. <laughs> Tastes so amazing and it's so good for your health. Uh, basically, uh, the difference between a regular kombucha and a keto kombucha is the fermentation time. For the keto kombucha, because uh, kombucha is actually uh, either green tea or black tea fermented with the sugar and the scooby bacteria. Uh, so instead of uh, for 7 to 14 days, which is an average kombucha, we actually leave it fermenting for 21 to 30 days. The kombucha from this big bottle and putting the little containers and actually adding uh, some fruits for the flavor. I love using the frozen berries just because it's easy. All right, you guys, so I have uh, my kombucha here ready for me to put in the bottle. Uh, so this uh, a beautiful, clear crystal kombucha has been uh, fermenting for 30 days. We can see a little bit of the bubbles from the carbonation. I added some strawberries to the bottle. That's enough to change the color in the kombucha and also to add flavor. And I'm gonna uh, actually put this liquid here. And uh, now it's gonna go for the second fermentation, which will take probably around four to seven days. And once I feel that um, it should, it's it's good enough, then I'll put it in the fridge. And then that's when the, the fermentation stops. Once you refrigerate, then that's it. Um, and here is the Scooby. I just removed the Scooby from the big jar. That's my disgusting Scooby. I know, it looks weird. But thank you Scooby for making delicious kombucha. I really appreciate. And you guys, so I showed you the second fermentation of kombucha, basically going from this all the way to this, which is basically the same thing, but I added some uh, frozen fruits for flavor. And I will leave this kombucha fermenting for another seven days in a dark place, and then I will put in the fridge. Uh, and it's gonna be a great drink for me to have in the next couple weeks. And I left a little bit out for me to create the next batch. Here's my Scooby. Here I've got black tea, about eight grams of black tea and one cup of sugar. Um, I'm leaving the tea infused for about 20 minutes. And in this big jar, I have half of the jar with uh, cold water. Uh, so like I said, kombucha, if you don't know what it is, is a type of fermented tea. It can be either black tea or green tea. And it makes great sources of probiotics. It have a lot of health benefits, such as improve your gut health. Also, if you don't know, kombucha is uh, rich in antioxidants and rich in polyphenols and acetic acid. And which is great because um, they've been shown to suppress growth of undesirable bacteria and yeasts. And another great thing about kombucha, uh, some studies have proved that kombucha helps you to improve your good cholesterol, HDL, and lower your bad cholesterol, LDL. And also, um, it helps to uh, lower your blood sugar. So <laughs> this is a, definitely a drink that um, I'm proud of uh, brewing at home and yeah, and tastes delicious in my opinion. Okay, so uh, sorry that I didn't record step by step now, it's just uh, the kids <laughs> came along and I completely forgot about it. So here's the, the black tea, um, I had the cold water, I added the hot tea into the cold water, uh, the hot tea with sugar. And then I added a little bit of uh, the leftover kombucha and the scoobies here. So it gets this turf color right now, but as it starts fermenting, it goes back to clear. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 